find the maximum and minimum distances from the origin of the curve 5x square plus 6xy plus 5y square minus 8 equal to 0. To find out the distance, we have to find out the distance formula d equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square square root. Since we have to find out the distance from the origin, here we can take x1 and y1 0 0 and x2 and y2 as x and y. So the distance formula will be equal to d that is equal to x square plus y square square root. We have to apply the uh, the cons constraint maximization or constraint optimization using Lagrange multiplier to find out the maximum maximum and minimum distance. We know from con constraint maximization using Lagrange multiplier any function you can represent like this f x y z plus lambda into phi x y z. Here f x y z this is called the objective function and here the objective function is, is d square is equal to x square plus y square. So the objective function is x square plus y square. And, uh, and here lambda is called the Lagrange multiplier and the constraint equation or the condition, constraint condition is given by 5x square plus 6xy plus 5y square minus 8. This is the constraint condition. Okay. And how to solve the constraint optimization using Lagrange multiplier? You have to take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x and partial derivative with respect to y to 0. If we take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x to 0, then what will be the partial derivative of this function? It will be equal to 2x and partial derivative of this uh, constraint equation will be equal to lambda into 10x plus 6y that will be equal to 0. Similar and if you solve it, you multiply x. If you multiply x here, this will be equal to uh, uh, 2x square plus lambda into 10x square plus lambda into 6yx that will be equal to 0. You multiply x here, x here and also x here. Why we multiply x here I will, told, I will tell you. And similarly, find out the partial derivative of f with respect to y to 0. If you take the partial derivative of x square plus y square, that will be equal to 2y. And partial derivative of this is equal to lambda into 6x plus 10y. So, that will be equal to 0. And here you multiply y. Multiply y here, y here and also y here. Why you multiply x here and y here? Because to make lambda... Uh, 6yx or xy here also you have lambda 6xy since you have the two uh, same value in the two equations then you can equate the two equations that is why you multiply x here and you multiply y here or you take the subtraction of this equation from this I have taken your sub subtraction if you take the subtraction of this and this, then uh, you will get 2x square minus 2y square plus lambda into 10 into x square minus y square. Here you take 10 lambda common. So in the bracket you have x square minus y square that will be equal to 0. So here you can take x square minus y square common. So in the bracket you have 2 plus 10 lambda that will be equal to 0. So, x square minus y square that will be equal to 0 and x, x square minus y square will be equal to x plus y into x minus y that will be equal to 0. So, you have x equal to y and x equal to minus y. You have two values of x. One is x equal to y, another value is 
x equal to minus y. By putting these two values, you can find out the maximum and minimum distances from the origin. If you put x equal to y in the constraint equation, that is 5x square plus 6xy plus 5y square minus 8 equal to 0, then you put x equal to y here, so this will be equal to 5y square plus 6, uh, if you put y here, 6y square plus 5y square minus 8, sorry, minus 8 equal to 0 or equal to 8, and 5y square plus 6y square plus 5y square, that will be equal to 16y square, will be equal to 8, so y square will be equal to um, 1 by 2, so y will be 1 by root 2, and if y will be equal to 1 by root 2, x will be equal to 1 by root 2. So, x will be also equal to 1 by root 2. And in the distance formula, we have d square is equal to x square plus y square. So, d is equal to x square plus y square square root. So, if you put the value of x equal to 1 by root 2 or x square is equal to 1 by 2, then 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, this will be equal to 1 and its square root also equal to 1. So, the minimum value of the distance from the origin to the core 5x square plus 6xy plus 5y square minus 8 equal to 0 is equal to 1. This is the minimum value. Now, you, if you put the value of x equal to minus y, you can find out the maximum value. If you put the value x equal to minus y, then 5 y square uh, plus 6 into minus y into y plus 5 y square will be equal to 8. So, 5 y square minus 6 uh, y square plus 5 y square will be equal to 8. So, this will be 10 minus 6. So, 4 y square that will be equal to 8. So, y square will be equal to 2. So, y will be equal to root 2. If y will be equal to root 2, x will be equal to minus root 2. So, what will be the distance? Distance will be equal to x square plus y square square root. x square is equal to 2. X, uh, 2 and y square will be equal to 2. So, 2 plus 2, 4. 4 square root is equal to 2. So, 2, this is the maximum distance uh, from the origin to the core 5x square plus 6xy plus 5y square minus 8 equal to 0. So, in this way, by... The, taking the constraint optimization using Lagrange multiplier, you can solve the various maximum and minimum values in different equations. Thank you.